Um, so, yeah, I, I I say this a lot, but I think I tend to allow more meta than most, or at least some dungeon mm. masters. I'm comfortable with that um, because I am analytically minded, especially when, when it's a new system or whatever. Um, I like to like dig into like whatever the tinkery side of things, the 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 rule system side of yeah, things. Is this work? serving the game or not? Like I I have those above table conversations more readily than a lot of dungeon masters, but that doesn't mean that I won't lean on the gas sometimes, if not often, to kind of simulate the fact that like yeah, this is happening within this is happening in a six second increment. You guys don't have twenty minutes to confer. So like that little bit of chaos happens <laughs> in would, would it makes sense that it's happening. It's actually serving the story. It's more realistic that this guy bursts in and decides to do something and on a whim does it. And like, now it's happening. It's like, well, okay, can we like talk about this? It's like, you can to a degree, but like it's, it's happened. This is what they're doing in response to that. The world is in motion. You are responding to it in real time. Um, and at one point you had to kind of lay down the law of like, okay, three of the party members are out here with this dissident member of the cultists, right, who doesn't like the leader. And then the other two are in with the leader. So you can hear this. You can't hear this. So, you know, we're all at the same table and we could hear each other last night. <laughs> we didn't have the, the, the ambient noise wasn't terrible at the, at the <laughs> gaming store. So, uh, but, you know your players, your, your characters can't hear it. So act as if they can't hear that yet. You know, they don't have that knowledge. I think it's a privilege to have a good player base that I do. I get to allow that much meta and then also believe in my players drawing that line between like, okay, you, you know this, but your character does that act accordingly. Right. Um, you know, maybe when we're running for 11 year olds who are just learning the game, we, we don't we don't have that luxury as much right. um, to enforce that line of like the bleed or whatever. But the yeah, the benefit of having like experienced players who are who are committed to the the verisimilitude, the, tr the truthiness of the game itself is that like, yeah, cool. You guys can talk about this t to a degree, but. Your characters are upstairs having one conversation. You two are downstairs having another conversation. You don't know what's happening between the two. Right. So, therefore, whatever. <laughs> well, on a high level, on a higher level, it's almost like, a, a, you know, a director and an actor. Right. So, right. So maybe you need to know this. Maybe your character needs to maybe the actor needs to know this in order to know how to play the character. Right. Correctly. That's yes. really hyper meta. The, um, you know, maybe they don't, right? So maybe you keep them in the dark. So, you know, does, did David Prowse have to know, you know, who Luke Skywalker's father was, you know, in order to play what he did inside the mask? Well, the actor, want, after the fact, says that he said that he needed to, but on screen, it didn't matter, right? So like, mm -hmm. you know, he was told something else. He was told that, you know, Obi-Wan killed his father or something like that. So, you know, when the line got delivered, it was still a secret. And that was for even bigger meta reasons, right? So that like uh, the secret didn't get out before the movie was released. But, um, but it's something that I do bring up to the kids because I think it's important what I try to do with the kids, especially middle schoolers, the grade schoolers really don't have too much of a problem with it, but sometimes the middle schoolers isn't, do. It's isn't like, that isn't that interesting? Yeah, right. It's isn't like that interesting. This is pretend. This is real, right? So you're playing this. Your character knows that, but you don't know that. Right? It's like we forgot it. It's not like we're learning this new skill. It's like, oh yeah, you knew how to, you knew how to do this when you were five years old. Yes. <laughs> Remember how to play. 